Greetings, I am the wrestling fan. I may not be the best wrestling fan, but I am the finest. And welcome to my... Wait, 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 wait. I didn't get to finish my sentence. You don't do that until I finish my GD sentence. All right? Okay, little buckaroo? Okay, let's try it again. And welcome to my... Pin Son of a bitch! No one interrupts me, especially twice. Don't do that again. Hey! I said... Jesus Christ, I said... Don't... God damn... Now, I know I've been kind of eh, judgmental when it came to TNA, Impact Wrestling, whatever it's called, but truth be told, they have produced a shitload of fabulous matches that I still love to watch to this day. And since it is October, and this is the month where they have their biggest show of the year, Bound for Glory, and I know Bound for Glory already passed, and I heard it was a really good pay-per-view, and I heard it was a subpar pay-per-view, I don't know, I haven't watched it, I actually kind of want to see it. <laughs> um, but anyway, I decided that this month I would choose a Bound for Glory match for my pick of the month. And that's exactly what I did. So, my pick of the month for October 2012 is Christian Cage versus Samoa Joe from Bound for Glory 2007. I don't think this is a lost classic or anything, as I'm sure plenty of people remember it. But while going through my Bound for Glory collection, I came across this gym, and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. This match and this rivalry came about mainly over who thought they were the best, and who deserved to be the next contender for the TNA world title. An interesting tidbit that I didn't know, Christian entered this match having never been pinned or submitted in his time in TNA, up to that point. The crowd was raucous, which only adds to the excitement while you watch it. As it was advertised, this match had to have a winner and Matt Morgan was even made the special enforcer to ensure that this happened. I've never seen Christian take as much punishment as he did in this match. There isn't much about Joe that's fake, and frankly, Cage gets his ass kicked. But, as Christian does, he hits the right moves at the right time to wear down the Samoan submission machine. Christian just wouldn't give up, no matter how much Joe would beat him down, and it's obvious that Joe keeps getting frustrated because he can't put the peeps king away. Wrestlers always talk about stealing the show at WrestleMania, but these two, in my opinion, stole the show with this Bound for Glory. Tremendous contest that is a blast to watch. Now if you want to watch this great match, then please purchase the Bound for Glory 2007 DVD. And I do apologize, I'm not very up to date on TNA Impact Wrestling DVDs, so if this match was released on another DVD set, I didn't know. I know it's not on Samoa Joe's DVD at least the one that I have, or Christian Cage's. So, this is the only way I know to get it. If I'm wrong, I apologize. <sighs> well, that was my pick of the month for October 2012. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Um, actually, before you go, there is something kind of serious I need to talk to you about. Um, I've actually been meaning to tell you guys for a long time, and I think now's the right... It feels like the right time. Sorry, I just had to kind of compose myself. <clears throat> okay. Jesus Christ! Stop doing that! Stop interrupting me, please! I'm trying to get something off my chest here. Something important. I don't know who's fucking doing this, but just stop. All right? Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Okay. All right. Now, what I want to tell you is... Well... Ugh. All right. I'm going to say it really quick. All right. I... Am a little girl, and did you keep interrupting me? So it looked like I said, I am a little girl. <sighs> Who keeps fucking with me? It was me. 
I did it. Space Monkey Mafia Studio. What is it?